Yeah, we're looking at a long Bavaria here. Hey, I'm coring stuff, yay, because I'll never find it all. You and I, we're just, you're Savoy maxing and I'm Bavaria maxing. We're never going to form a formable. Yeah, it's going to stay tiny country forever. Hello and welcome back to the Bavaria series where the dream of forming the Danubian Confederation and then Germany and the dream for Savoy to form Italy seem very far away. And we've resorted to just building up our small nations the best we can and manually coring land. If you haven't watched parts 1 and 2 you can go and catch up and watch them. There's a link to the playlist here and in the description. So far I, and the countries I've chosen to ally with, have lost two wars in rapid succession. But as Bavaria, I'm not in the firing line to lose land out of this. These two wars have simply maintained the status quo in the German region. My position is fine, I've been building up my country, my industry, my army, my research, and expanding against the AI. Tyrol is under greater threat of being annexed by Switzerland than I am of losing any land out of these wars. The dual monarchy is the one who has suffered most from these defeats, losing some of his best regions and being forced into a very difficult decision. After using his phone a friend lifeline, he has chosen the French route, meaning that he gets the accepted pops in France now instead of having to wait until 1870 to get the English as well. The main reason for this is a short term boost in mobilised units, which could give him the edge in the next European war. Our string of defeats has also led us to look for allies elsewhere. Poland and Muscovy seem to be allying together, and if they're not fighting each other, then they could get involved and help counterbalance a big Western alliance. One important thing to keep in mind, this series, just like every series I make, is from my point of view. So I tell you about the diplomacy that I do and what my alliance does mainly. Sometimes I ask the other players what was going on so I can fill in the gaps where it's really important, or if I have time to cover it, but all I can truly and reliably offer is my point of view. There are so many other things going on between all the other players that I don't know about, and that's very true especially in Eastern Europe this campaign. There's more going on there than meets the eye. A similar thing I'd like to say is that in the comments for the previous part of this series, I noticed a lot of people dismissing my allies and blaming them for our loss in that war, saying things like Spudgun always chooses bad allies. Well, in that video in the war analysis section, I did explain how it was my fault that we lost that war. My surprise attack plan failed because I didn't read the rules correctly, and I selfishly chose to send my army to fight the Württemberg AI, which eventually got it caught and then Bohemia got his army caught trying to save me. The war analysis sections are designed to calmly dissect the wars and allocate blame fairly, constructively explaining what everyone could have done to win. I think I did that pretty well in the previous analysis section, but somehow people seem to get the wrong idea and blame my allies. So just keep that in mind and be very fair to all the other players I play these games with in the comments. Having said that, by all means, please do keep commenting and tell me what you think is going to happen next and your thoughts on the video. Also, please like the video and subscribe. I stream a variety of fun games on Twitch where you should follow me. And if you really want to support the channel to keep it going, you can join my Patreon and bonus clips for this series will be released soon. Events in the Americas of this campaign are now so interlinked with what's going on in Europe. We're going to be watching America very carefully, hoping that our ally in the region, the Belgian Confederacy, can overcome the infamy slaves of Vinland and Plantagenia, who are trying to sell themselves to Scandinavia, Aragon and Burgundy in the desperate hope that they will send troops to help them. Also, the battle between the three countries attempting to form Italy is very tense. As we know, Savoy and Venice have put their differences aside in order to kick out Aragon first. Now that the dust has settled after the recent war, the three players are looking to annex the small Italian minor countries that are remaining. DM, can you sphere uh, Madonna? They're at 100. Yeah, yeah. DM, spear all the North Italian stuff. Are you doing that? You can have me form Italy. That like makes me so much stronger. Oh, like, against Venice. conquest of Medina against Venice? Yep, join it, join it. Do you guys... be war leader and I'll peace him out. Thank you. It's looking up for the Italians. I got another <laughs> fucking potato bite. Wow. <laughs> that was a hell of a bang. We're up against it. Overpowered Aragon, overpowered Scandi, overpowered Burgundy. I'm sitting here getting two potato bites. How are we even fucking supposed to do a thing? We live in dark times. Probably gonna match Burgundy and Brigades soon. Dual monarchy and Bohemia. I need to hear you planning what you're gonna do in the next war. I don't know how we can win the next war, man. Are you good on like supply and everything? Yeah, my industry is one of the best. Well, once your industry is online, you can just build a lot of like, to build a good modern army and go in. The 
Bavarian that's Bohemia will come over here and link up with me in France. And yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's how a good we'll idea. fight the next war. We'll have Italy controlled with the mountains there. And that way you guys can also like shuffle into France. I think I can get uh, Poland in on this war on our side, by the way. If we can get Poland, that would be amazing, yeah. We get Poland and Russia. We have a chance in hell of winning this. Like, yeah. As much as we're dooming, if everyone just gets their armies together, we can just smash. We should do it in the dual monarchy. Were those negotiations successful? Do we have them on our side? Yeah, they are successful. Nice, yeah. yeah. I already knew we had them on their side. I talked to them. Yeah, Poland's not in, but... Wait, what? How? What? Yeah. Wait, Poland's not in, but Moscow is? Uh, he wouldn't join because we wouldn't give up, like, Silesia. Oh, come on, he what? can't do this. Oh, what a bastard. Absurd. We need to convince Muscovy to go fucking western and just kill Poland if he does this to us. Oh my god, Vinland is warring Provence. What a fucking cock. Literally, he has Provence right now. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, no, you don't. Sad. What a fucking asshole. This is disgusting. Uh, Vinland is about to declare on me a god's canteen. We're all joining that then. Is that what you're asking us? Yeah, 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 because uh, sure. Burgundy will be trust out for two years, so you have time to... Wait, who's, wait, who's, who's wait, going wait, to wait, wait, on, and who do I allow? This? Belgian Confederacy. Okay, okay. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm allied you, yeah, yeah, I'm sphered and yeah, allied you. To get the army back up and funded. I don't what's know, because actually he's just going to seek down DM. He's not I, anticipating this, he doesn't have armies in England. They're decking, they're decking. Call me in, call me in. <laughs> Give it a mug. That's good! Put, put all your armies in England. Yeah. You're not gonna have a good time putting some armies in England. He can transport everything while he has naval supremacy. I don't know, but how are we even... What's, he, what's even the point of this then? Are we sending troops to, like, North America? Taking Pomerania, getting a separate troops of Scandi... Oh, true, 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 if true. If Spain yeah. joins this, you've got yeah. navies that might be able to fucking beat Scandi, though. You have a little chance. Spain, are you allied to the Belgians? Fund your navy. I can't fund my navy. I have no, I can, no I, money. I think Ben, ben can give Request, request, I'll give you money. Let's play Join That Call to Arms. Well, I'm not. Bohemia's not. I'm not. Who joined? The DM got in because of the sphere leader. Scandi didn't join, so you've just blocked Scandi out. Which is good. No, Scandi, Scandi did join, right? Or No. No, he didn't. Oh, no. joined first. He was not able to. Alright, then I'm not going. Oh, fuck. Just, it's a little victory. It gives the Belgians an easy win over Vinland. It's a little yeah. victory. Okay. Have to fight that. Oh, dude, dude. Ah, oh, they sold it to fucking Aragon. Got In it. fact, you can send troops to help Belgians just to secure that victory. Let's go kill Vinland, this little piece of shit. I'm coming over. Yeah. <laughs> or Murray. Do it. Get what you fucking deserve. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Spain, you can send stuff too. Do you have transports? Infamy Gimp got gimped. It's good issue. Where? Oh, Belgium got there first in defensive battle. Oh. No commander, though. Belgium, get a, their army. get a commander, get a commander. <laughs> oh, you're winning, you're winning, you're, oh my god, you're destroying him with no Scandi commander. Scandi could deck a new separate war on uh, the Belgians if Vinland consents. The myth of consent, do you consent? Yes, do you consent? Does Vinland consent? No. <laughs> Another Croker L, when will it stop? To bring up a rule argument. Why? Let me know what the rule is. You just have to fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending just... troops right now. But why does that matter anyway? Because they're pissing and moaning to me. About what? You not having troops there yet? What would happen if I didn't? I'll make you a peace. One stock is all you need to secure the win. Yeah. My ships are almost at full strength and then I'm moving over. I have more brigades than him now. Nice. The truces are up in a year. I mean, if we're gonna move all our armies to the DM and fight that, okay, we should do it next session so they can't check the save. Yeah. yeah. Seeing our armies there. I'm here, Belgian. Let's siege this croaker. Did, Did somebody here cannot? give me money? Who are you? Who are you asking for money? Bjornia. I'm no, poor. dude. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I need all some. Right. Come on, man. I need Dual some monarchy money. sphere. Do not give Bjornia money. Give those Scandinavian troops attrition in Vinland. That's the spirit. Scandinavia leaving Vinland to die, or...? He has to, because yeah. I blocked him out. Tyrol... The Tyrol incident is about to happen again. I'm with Tyrol, honestly. I think Switzerland was oppressing the people in that war. Yeah. We don't want to let this become the war. No, we don't. <laughs> but I still don't really want to let Switzerland take that. Well, Austria's gonna join it. 
like their allies, Austria yeah. and Tarol can beat Switzerland. That's what happened last time. Yeah, exactly. Leowin, my beloved. Strongest nation in Africa. Ethiopia is just blobbing in the Middle East. Actually expanded quite a lot. You know what? I'm gonna pop it Austria. Or should I? Not while the Switzerland's gonna declare that war. Yeah. Why would you pop it? Alright, I'm forming? doing my third military. Where I can form the Danubians, I'll get it. I should just Bavaria max and take capital on them. And core it. Joining Vinland in three months. Ooh, oh, everyone mobe? Everyone, I got everyone get the troops to DM. Yeah, okay, everyone, get troops to DM. Mobe and get troops to DM right now. Can we join? Yeah, the troops will be up. Will we all announce to join then? Yeah, uh, everyone announce. Yeah, everyone, everyone announce. type announce to join. Everyone get over here. Oh, the Belgians doesn't have to take all that shit he added, does he? Uh, yeah, he would. Yeah, oh, that's okay. okay, I'm uh, revoking my Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, though. listen, listen, dual monarchy, Spain, guys, Burgundy and Scandi and all them, they're willing to just not join the war if you throw Belgian under the bus. If you just no, leave. I don't believe I don't believe you for a second. They they are. I, I can pull them I up. I don't believe here. you. Why would okay, you believe I'm pulling you? them up here then. Okay, sure. They don't I'm want a third this. war in one session, isn't that right, Burgundy? Yes. So just fucking throw Belgium under the bus, don't make me have to get involved. No, he's, he's already, already also Belgium added like the majority of the wars. I didn't no, like, even mobilize yet. He's already won, Vinland's nation ruining over it. I'm not nation ruining over it. I know the fucking Europeans are coming, I don't have to fight a battle. We need to argue against having to use all the Belgians war goals, because we won't get anything out of this if we win. I just need to get my LV. Wait, did you just take Vinland? Yeah. going to- Aragon is leaving Italy. He's going to Iberia. Can I get some money, please? Yeah, I'm gonna die. No, that's fine, that's fine. We can have Savoy and- Yeah, I can help you in Venice, Iberia. Venice and Savoy can quickly crush- crush him. Yeah. Bohemia, are you gonna move to the dual monarchy? Or? Yeah, I'm moving. Or we we don't have a lot of time. Are we gonna be able to get Muthwe or Poland in on this, or- Nah. I think Poland just announced, didn't he? Did he? I think. I did go in the chat. That. What, on their side, or...? You can join right we... the fuck now. Yeah, do we want to okay. join, like, right now? Dude, Burgundy isn't supplied. Call yeah, me in. um, DM, can you call us all in? We need to rush into Burgundy Watch right now. Watch out in North because... America, they get stacks isolated in Pantagenia Junior join. Yeah, we can rush in. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. I need to fund my army, though, and I don't have money. Bohemia, do you have money? Not that much, and I'm losing money when I fund. Alright, I'll army. give you some, I'll give you some. Bohemia, you need to join. Call Bohemia. Yes. Do you want me to focus on Iberia? Because it's kind of a tough choice to make. Uh, I mean, focus on Iberia, there. you focus. guys no. Well, no, no. look at the Iberia. army position right now, it's fucking terrible. Get everything to the dual monarchy. It's over. Yeah, dual monarchy, dual monarchy. <laughs> We've lost the war. Look at that. Oh my god. Just just send everything. Rush you down Burgundy. Don't leave over, over in DM either. Just don't fight any battles now. yet, DM. Just don't fight any battles yet. Just pull back. All right, just... Aragon has to re-announce if they want to join now. Okay, good. They're true stud anyway, I'm pretty sure. Are we fighting this? And, um... Yeah, I think we could actually fight I'll, this. I'll, if I'll you guys... the forest. I would retreat that to the Don't forest. Don't fight it. I'm gonna fight in boys, though. They're gonna catch me. I mean, we can commit stuff to that one. That one's fine. Get your general Yeah, that one's fine. I'm, I'm committing to that. I'm committing to that. I'm gonna Please get, get your general, general in it. Don't yeah. let yourself get encircled there. Yeah, we're winning this. This is a good battle. Holy shit, we're shredding them. Look at that, we're shredding them. You can't yeah, take yeah. that now. Yeah. Damn, you're about to get stuck up in America. Oh, fuck, you're right. I warned you of that one. Yeah, you did. I didn't keep moving fast enough. I mean, for this is a really good battle for us. Let's prepare another attack in Lamont up north. You can already attack Lamont now. They've committed everything to the other battle. Let's yeah, go. Attack, yeah, attack, attack Orleans. Attack yep. Orleans. How about both? We're getting encirclement. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can, yeah you can go all out. We get, you can encircle. My troops are here now. This is so oh, good. Man. This is it. That. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm just not having us being rule cut for with the Belgian Confederacy's war score. I'm not letting that happen. Yeah. Full rage quick claws on that. With the war score, I want to get both teams yeah, to fuck out. Full Albion, rage okay? claws. No balls. Okay, they pulled out. They pulled out of a. Follow up. Follow up to Shart. Follow, yeah, follow up. up. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Follow up. Yeah, follow yeah, up. yeah. We're going to crush them. This is revenge for Counter fucking hotbox. We won in Orleans. We won in 
Orlean. Yeah, follow up. This is revenge. And attack from up. Orlean into Milan. Go. Yeah, attack Milan. Attack Milan. Attack Milan. Milan. I'm Milan. going. I'm going. 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 Balls to the wall. Uh, DM. We have new stuff. Stand to Yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. good. I haven't even had Bohemia here yet. You might group for their thumb. Okay. All right, we're we're losing the battle right now. We need to everything in, like a uh, Venice, yeah, yeah, yeah. DM, my Spain. Stack will be there in a follow up. We're gonna crush them like dogs. I'm join this like word. dogs. Yeah, just wait, follow, wait, up. follow up. In circle, follow up. In circle. Okay, I would I would say we don't need all the stuff in Troy. Like maybe uh, get some, half. I'm in Try and get some stuff around to Rune and Kyan so they can't retreat at any. Oh, I'm actually shadow funny. Shit, that's why. I'm okay. oh. I've got I've got men it's going to Rune. I mean... Okay. Oh. Oh, we oh stack wipe them. Crushing them. We're crushing them. Yes, get everything in there. Get everything in there. We can circle them. We can get try. Spain. Uh, Spain. Uh, Spain. He's gonna Let's hit. Let's go to Kane and Rune. Bayon first. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming to save you there, Spud Gun. He's just preventing an encirclement out of desperation. Hit Roy in with me, Spain. Spain, hit Roy in with me. Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Follow up. Right, follow up, follow, 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 follow. up, follow up. Follow up, and then we encircle it. I'm in. I have ships. I'm going to put ships in Calais. Yeah, put ships. Okay, put now ships. Let's get 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 right, I'm going to Amiens. I'm going to Amiens. I'm going to Amiens. Spain, if you can put ships in uh, Calais. Just go, just right. go. Yep, I'm sorry. Uh, session's over in like two minutes, by the way. Who cares? We crushed them. We crushed them. We crushed them. Yeah, this was this was good. Yeah. This this is good. Like fucking going. beautiful. This is what you want from boys. That's what we like to see, guys. Good job. Even if you hit the battle, that'll still actually force them back, I think, into the... Yeah, and they'll get there before they do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh get my one. god, dude, that's like a huge amount of their, of their army. army, holy shit. Right as they're about to board, attack that navy. Oh, they, yep. they, they oh, moved shit. the ships. That's them. They're fucked. They're coming yeah, back. Yes. They're coming back to ruin. They're about to crawl up into the beach. They're only <laughs> fucked. <with> it. <laughs> it's Lady like Normandy. Get off the beach, yes! Oh, you fail. Any more ships anyone has anywhere, get them in. Oh, there we go. Hey. Aren't they? Some of them made it. Is that a multi? Yeah, I don't know. It might How is be. he getting to Brighton? Because the ships, it doesn't matter if they're being attacked, he can still move. Well, really? you're gonna get to Brighton before he does, I think. Not, not the case for most it's of them. fucking 5k anyway. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. wait, 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 we can go across the strait. We can go across the strait. Yeah, across yeah, the strait, across the strait. <laughs> oh. oh. Chase them, chase them. The uh, Venice, have... Venice, go across the strait. There's literally less than a hundred troops about oh, the can't buy right. the Calais block. Yeah, Calais, you uh, can't. Uh, Burgundy's building troops, let's go kill them. Here's the surrender. They're about to type it. They're asking right now, who hey, does the Belgian Confederacy have to take all his war goals? Look, look, look. I want to get Holstein and Pomerania, okay? Yeah, yeah we will. Well, we pulled it around at least last minute okay, there. Okay, so y'all yeah, that was... don't need me no more, right? We're fine, we're fine. They're gonna do some diplo. Yeah, they're gonna get the Ottomans to join up somehow. They've lost this war, they have 0% chance, it's over. Stop dooming. This is it, we turned it around. That 5k dual monarchy in Brighton is enough to... I don't know how they even got there, but... They're Movo stacks from England itself. I mean, if Spain could get that 30k on Ireland over... I don't know how they got there, but... They can move. What happened was, I was going to try to follow the rules about getting troops over to the Americas, but I forgot to add them to the transports. <laughs> We're gonna make a really strong <laughs> Belgian Confederacy. That's what's yeah. happening. Yeah. No, we're, we're rule lawyer in that. I'll let the I professional can... rule lawyers uh, take who's care of that. The piece is ninety. We don't have to it's, take all the Belgian stuff, too. Yes, yes, you, yes do. you do. You have to take what you add. You have to take what you add. No, we. No, yeah, we're, not, we're gonna. We're gonna words. completely rule lawyer that. We're not allowing that. We're not getting bullshitted out of it. It's That's Belgian why they're surrendering. They, the they were. War. You're not gonna hide behind these shitty rules this time. And then Belgian yeah, added war. He can literally take everything he wants. You join Belgian's war. He can take the first war goal. Actually, it was Vinland that declared. He doesn't have to take any of them. We can give him one, though. That would be fair to him.
I really hate the last seconds of every video where you clipped one of the things I said at the end of one session. <laughs> yeah, he oh literally did that for every single video. You said it at the end of session one, and I just thought, actually, I'm going to end my videos with this. <laughs> the quote is, that's all today. But was it? I've forgotten what it is. That's all for today. Goodbye. Oh, fuck. I'm going to use that for the Bavaria series. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> he baited me right into it. So, uh, gentlemen, this is a discussion we all knew was going to have to happen one way or the other. Uh, certain peace okay. deal that we need to make. The Belgians has complete say over the war goals. Belgians. Yes. There has been a slight modification in what we think that the peace deal should look like, okay? When you say we, mm -hmm. me and the end. Just say discussing it. it a little bit. I think that instead of two cores, you only take one core, and I'm going to no. still send you the 500k grant. I'm not going to take that. I'm gonna take two. The thing is, we kind of won that war for you. Because otherwise... I know that, but uh, okay. I deserve it more. There's uh, potentially other leverages we can use to guarantee you some things. So what if you wanted, say, some future intervention to help you form Arcadia? Guaranteed. The stronger we are as an alliance in Europe, the more mm -hmm. we can help you. Wait, uh, what are you even playing? You're playing like Bavaria and you're playing Bohemia. How, playing how are you going to help me? I'm, I'm okay. not saying I'm going to be the one. <laughs> the DM. Yeah, so why should I listen to you? Um, this is why I'm trying to get... Because I'm part of the alliance and I'm uh, putting forward some ideas that can help everyone. We think that the most beneficial for the whole alliance is... I mean, I'm going to be honest here. You guys had a week. How did you not, not like... I talked to Gogo. We had a whole piece deal worked out, but like... The thing is, if Ben takes Normandy Wait, as well... Ben is messaging me? Can't you like talk in the VC? I declared on him, so everything he added, we can just ignore. If you just white piece me out, that becomes way easier to argue for the war score, because it'll just wipe out the war goals. Oh yeah, I oh, totally man. forgot about that, actually, but I mean, we could do that. That's like, the, that's like the last resort if Elgin isn't willing to cooperate, but... Elgin isn't. I agree to one state if it's uh, Scar Rel Store uh, One. How expensive is it? 27. 27? Perfect. Okay, you can take Normandy and then we're good. Okay. Okay. It looks like uh, Croker's tr negotiations trying to get the Belgians to take nothing didn't work. I mean, Belgians added all those war goals without consulting anyone. Uh, well, he was in his rights too. He thought he was on his own in the war. Didn't he added all of those while you guys joined. What oh. can I offer to cuck Belgians? When it, what would you guys want? Nothing. <laughs> Croker is trying to divide this alliance. I'm yeah. trying to isolate one very specific member of this alliance. So what do you need to form the Nubians? <laughs> I need Württemberg and Switzerland and... Uh, but, you know, weakening Burgundy is going to get us very, you know, better off in that direction. Yeah, even if it's just returning them to uh, game start state. Yep. Just so everyone knows, um, at the start of the session, Spain is getting a war goal on Aragon, and then we're all just going to deck on him because they can't help him. If anything, we'll, we'll still be adding war goals by then, so. I'll probably stay out of that one. I don't give a fuck about Aragon. I mean, you can stay out. DM Spain, Savoy, and Venice. Where is the guy on the Venice? Where is he? Uh, no kick. None of us care about Venice, kind of. So, like, if you want to take Greece or whatever, you Yeah, I will ahead. just fucking deck on him, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna yeah, say. Yeah, just, just deck on him. I'm not gonna... By the way, Bavaria, you want to him. split the borders in Balkans? Well, I don't want the last region of Hungary. I might take Croatia. I don't know. Alright, so you take Croatia, I take the last region of Hungary, Bosnia and Dalmatia. You take the rest. Um, yeah. You guys know of Suleiman the Magnificent? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I want to do. I will lot up when I go to war with Spot, then I'm going to siege Vienna. <laughs> I don't own Vienna right now. I, I will siege it once you own it. That's, that's my mission. <laughs> and then get crushed by the Polish. Alright, watch the surrenders come into the chat. Let's peace out amicably with the deals that we've made. Good job, everyone. Yeah. Alright, just Where fine core. Up oh, there's the okay. wipe. Good. Oh! Apparently they, they multied can... because they surrendered. Yeah. Oh, oh there's the Scandinavian surrender. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. And move your stuff down to Catalonia. Yeah. Remember, it's yours, you are now. I know I'm being very obnoxious right yes, now, we know, but we know, we know, just making work. sure. Just start stacking the Catalonian border, and if you have transport ships, get those ready to move. You're taking all these Iroquois people. Can't take Wait, the Vinland's beating you in a battle. What? What? Yeah, I know. I wouldn't reinforce, that's a death trap. Wait, has Vinland not surrendered, surrendered yet? 
Vinland okay. has now surrendered. So Vinland it's fine. just said surrender. Okay. okay, yeah, you're fine. He should retreat from the battle then. Okay, I added Normandy. But... Just get all your armies like into the mountains. Just get them in like yeah, Cadiz. I... Cadiz. The... Cadiz not second colonized. Spain, don't forget you have thirty k in Ireland. Oh right, I forgot about those guys. Is joining. joining? You can't. Okay, let's he's just look. Just join. No, he joined. Right? Did he? No, no, no he he's can't. Not. He's already at war with the people. Oh, they're gonna rule over this, man. Rule 2k, uh, you can't declare war while surrendering under peace being settled. What? You let them not part of that. Go and argue. Make the rule argument, guys. Go and argue it. Yeah, just, we argue. Yeah, gonna... Okay, but but wait, was Ar Aragon wasn't even in the war. Is someone no. gonna go argue with our case on the rules or? Rule lawyers. You guys should go. Better call Saul. I'm not much of a rule lawyer myself. I, don't, <laughs> I haven't read them. I never read the rules, to be honest. That's true. Apparently no one here read the rules. Don't they have either, honestly. Just go up there and say, hey, it's bullshit. You Lizard, Lizard and Orange, if you really want to rule lawyer, you shouldn't go. I think it's too late now, we're already... You can't it. argue your case without being in the courtroom. I mean, I'm not arguing this rule case, but I think my allies have a case they're going to argue. They're just preparing their final uh, opening statement as we speak. Oh boy. Spot guy, it's a Court clear abuse session. of the gameplay, though, sure because... Room. I said I'm not arguing it. I don't know. Oh, they're having the rule argument in the fucking chat. I wanted to hear. Yeah, I know. I wanted to hear some autism. From Poland all the way to Japan, it's basically a hug box. <laughs> that's yeah, and that's not gonna last. They're gonna have to. It's they're horrible. gonna have to kill one of them. Like they have conflicting cores. So someone's gonna have to die. Wait, the zone guys in the hug box? Okay. That's, yes. Uh... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. One of them's gonna yeah, have to die. They can't both are... <laughs> be in the alliance. It's gonna be Dzungar. Wait, is Muscovy and Poland like oh, allies? And apparently the Dzungars are in it, and uh, Japan, China, India. <laughs> yeah, but what does... <laughs> Muscovy uh, took Southern... Oh, he's going to take Southern. I, mean, I guess he could. He still has a chance to backstab Poland. He hasn't taken it yet, but... He yeah. can't take it yet. Yeah, this Russia. could all just be a long game to get, uh, to get Russia foreign without interference. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, hey Venice, we're, we're best buds, just so you know. We're, we're best yeah. buds. Ottomans is gonna deck on me for Greece, so... Oh, that's... Oh, wow. That's terrible. Yeah, I'm telling him to full CG down. How could he do him. such a thing? I can't believe he's I know, doing right? that. That's kind of funny. Yeah, definitely tell really, him to full CG down. Elbian, it's it's up to you to add your war goals and then we're good. Ben, yeah. Amazoni, Plant, and Zifeng are all, like, willing to be in your sphere if you, like, don't take any shit off of me all, you know, Why would you, you want more people in the sphere? We already have a deal. You joined the wrong side. No, I didn't join any side. I just asked for infamy, and one side gave it to me. It's it. I have no fucking loyalty to Scandi. And I called them into this war to throw them under the bus so I could avoid this. Hold on, hold this on. This is not my war. You say you don't have loyalty to Scandi, yet your name is Vinland. Curious. Okay. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Curious. Alright, let me default and make the 500k, I'm not 400k. And I'll send also, it. you, you don't have to give it to me all at the same time, I, I can oh. just like 50k and I'm gonna be fine for a while. The Albion Confederation has risen. After losing two wars, he's finally formed it after winning the third. As Bavaria, this is exactly what I had been aiming for and helping them fight these wars to do. But after he formed it, I still couldn't help feeling a bit anxious about the future. Had I really done the right thing? Should I really have helped to massively strengthen this country, who is very likely going to be a future rival? Now that the Albions have secured his map formation, and I'm no closer to forming the Danubian Confederation, will he turn on me? Have I messed this up? But what else could I have done? Could I have backstabbed Bohemia and joined Burgundy and Scandinavia's wave of victories? Those are the thoughts that are really going through my head. But publicly, I'm very happy to be part of this alliance and it was a great victory. And if I raise these concerns I have, then that actually increases the chances of me getting backstabbed or something. I have to be seen to be fully committed to this alliance, and so I am. The dual monarchy managed to get one of his biggest regions back and he really deserved it. The French monarchy has regained one of France's most populous states. And it is really good for me if Burgundy gets weakened because he's got these feelings that I want. And also a victory for the Belgian confederacy in America. Getting revenge against those two infamy slaves. Beautiful. But it's not over yet. The Belgian confederacy now temporarily being played by Spambot is still very far away from forming Arcadia but he has the advantage.
The diplomacy going on between Venice, the Ottomans, the Eastern Europeans, we don't really know their motives. It's all very interesting and tense. Venice is in a really, really bad position. A little bit reminiscent of me, he's been forced to ally with someone he actually has to compete with to form Italy. But the Italian problem is going to come to a head much sooner than the German problem, which is still very far away. And to make matters worse, the Ottomans is going to deck on him for Greece. Savoy is in a much better position and he is still the dual monarchy's favoured candidate. Apparently Poland Lithuania was trying to make moves towards Silesia in this whole situation. Very strange. Hug boxing with Muscovy and wiping out Hungary, he doesn't really have that many other enemies. Was it just a price he put forward in exchange for his intervention on our side in the war? Or was it something he's actually going to go for now? One thing's for sure though, we didn't actually end up needing those Eastern Europeans. We underestimated our own strength, and after actually building up to our fullest brigade counts, over the full 5 year truce we got from the last war, we were very strong, even my Bavaria is building up a decent brigade count now. The space between wars 1 and 2 was almost non-existent, we didn't have any time to build up there. So that's the third war of this campaign and we finally turned it around after two devastating defeats. Another very short, fast paced war. One of the reasons the wars in this campaign aren't lasting as long as in certain other series I've done is because you're not allowed to demobilise and remobilise under this rule set. The contrast is really funny actually, if you look at something like the Hungary Cinematic Universe where every war becomes a death war lasting years and years, but in this campaign there's more rules you can't demob and remob but you end up with massive rule lawyering arguments. Is there some kind of middle ground somewhere? Anyway, Burgundy and Scandinavia tried blitzing down into the dual monarchy in a rapid advance to try and catch out armies and get some wipes, but after it initially looked really bad, we were able to consolidate and hold the line. How did we do this? A hugely important factor was the province that the main battle took place in. It was a really good province for us. Why? Because of the flanks. For us, the battle and the threat of encirclement was safely defended by two forest provinces, and for them it was two plains provinces, making it very easy for us to launch flanking attacks. Even our further right flank over here was very safe behind a hill and river crossing. So as long as we have enough troops to stabilise the main battle and launch flanking attacks, that's very good for us, and as those flanking attacks cause them to retreat, it's plains provinces all the way to Calais. So they get into an unavoidable cycle of retreats, and we keep following up. These fast paced early game wars are often down to momentum, and they lost their momentum by getting into this long protracted battle in a bad position for them. Well, now I have to move on to a section of the analysis that we all knew was coming. It's the rule lawyering analysis. Can we not just pan over to see what's happening in Asia instead? No, we have to get on with it. The beginning of this whole series of events was when Vinland, with Scandinavian troops inside his border, declared war on the Belgian Confederacy, which was an absolute blunder. And it turns out that Vinland was hesitant to declare that war, but Scandinavia was pressuring him to do it, assuring Vinland that he would truce block out the enemy alliance, but it turned out that he got outplayed and got truce blocked himself. Their first attempt to rule lawyer themselves out of that bad situation was accusing the dual monarchy and Spain of breaking this rule here. When their diplomatic and military situation broke down, they resorted to using the rules instead, which is something that a lot of players, including myself, do. And if you're playing in a campaign with this many complicated rules, you're incentivized to at least try and use them to get some advantage. But they didn't get their way because Dempsey the host, who you might remember from the Venice series, stood firm and simply applied the rules. The Belgian Confederacy's war goals. The enemy side's argument was that all four of these war goals that the Belgian Confederacy unilaterally added had to be in the peace deal. They amounted to about 90 war score, therefore we wouldn't have been allowed to add anything in Europe. How convenient for them. Their case was based on this rule that you must take everything you add, except the rule has some stipulations, for example, tickers don't apply, and then the tickers don't apply stipulation has its own stipulation that the tickers have to be in the peace deal if they were the reason the enemy alliance surrendered. Oh my god, this is so complicated. We know that the Belgian Confederacy's war goals were tickers, because remember, before Burgundy and Scandinavia joined the war, the dual monarchy and Belgian Confederacy were just sieging down Vinland. The war didn't look like it was going anywhere, so the Belgians just added tickers to get it over with. If Vinland surrendered because of those tickers, they would have to be in the peace deal. But then the war escalated, and the enemy alliance surrendered because we kicked their ass into Calais. The situation completely changed and the tickers became irrelevant. But the Belgian Confederacy still had full control and final say over the war goals. It was the Belgian Confederacy's war, and then the dual monarchy joined and became the war leader. So if he started dictating terms from there, that would be hijacking the war. But eventually we came to a good deal with the full consent of the Belgian Confederacy. So the tickers weren't the reason they surrendered, therefore they didn't have to be added. Open and shut case, better call Saul, you are hereby sentenced to one campaign of facing up to your mistakes, Burgundy is sentenced to rage quitting, the enemy alliance is sentenced to losing one war after winning two, but still acting like it's the end of the world. By the way, our alliance made a rule blunder as well when they tried to pull that Aragon shit. It would have been a straight up abuse of truces, and it's something that I've actually cheekily done before, but now there's rules against it. 
I'm glad I stayed out of that one, because my reputation as a rule lawyer wasn't tarnished by it. Speaking of Aragorn, the enemy alliance made another massive blunder. Aragorn being in this war would have made it completely different, and there's a very high chance we would have just lost again, with them coming in from the south while Burgundy and Scandi were coming in from the north. Over the past few years of the campaign, the three competitors to form Italy have been annexing the Italian minor countries, and they've each gotten a really good share of them. Savoy got Milan, which is the best one, and they took Genoa and Parma. Venice took Ferrara, Modena and Lucca, while the Aragonese got the Papal States, Tuscany, and maybe you can count Provence, which they got from those American infamy transfers. That's actually a very fair partition, surely they can just coexist in peace now. While Venice was justifying to conquer Modena, the dual monarchy added it to his sphere of influence. The DM sphering the Italian minor countries is actually part of an attempt to use that decision to get Savoy to form Italy. Aragon, however, had somehow managed to get an alliance with Modena. So when Venice declared war on this dual monarchy sphering, the DM joined it to instantly surrender it and give Venice the land, because they were allied and cooperating. It's perfectly legal to do this in the rules, myself and Bohemia did it earlier with Austria, and we asked the host at the time who gave it the go-ahead. The problem is that Aragon joined this war as well, gaining a new truce with Venice, which expires later than the wider truce that all the countries had from the previous war, and that's how he got blocked out. This was a massive problem for the enemy alliance, and what's more, they didn't know about it. They had no idea this happened, they didn't raise it, they didn't really question why Aragon wasn't in the war, so overall it was what we call a skull issue on their part. The moral of the story is you just have to really be careful and pay attention to these things, always look out for truces, check what truces you have, that's part of the challenge. But if Aragon used that truce to block one of us out of a war, he would have been breaking the don't fish for truces rule. Yeah, Victoria 2 rules are just absolutely insane. It's been very tiring to explain these, but I hope you have a good understanding of what happened in this video. And thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Victoria 2 rule lawyering action. Surely this wasn't such a bad case of rule lawyering because the rule lawyers actually got their comeuppance and lost, but also not that many arguments broke out in the voice chat. Anyway, follow me on Twitch for some great live streams. Go and check out the Open Vic project by joining the Discord for that, and also join my Discord. Support me on Patreon if you're feeling generous, I greatly appreciate all existing Patreon supporters very much. And have a nice day, goodbye. That's all for today, goodbye.